Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hi, Shannon Morris. Hi. How are you? Host of Techzilla. Yes. And uh, always welcome here on the show with... What is this? A keyboard? <laughs> it is. It's it the... sounds like it sounds like a, a Lamborghini or something. <laughs> the Tesoro tes Lobero Supreme. What a name! Supreme mechanical keyboard. All right, Tesoro Lobero. What does that mean? The treasure of I don't know what that means. Sierra Madre. Sure. It's a monster keyboard. Tell <laughs> it us is. about it. It's huge. So this is a gaming mechanical keyboard, and it costs 140 bucks. So there's three really cool standout features that I liked about this. The first was the LED backlighting. It's full RGB LEDs. Pretty. Too. Oh, so you can have any color. Any color. But the unfortunate thing about Ooh. this, yeah, check this out. So I have five different profiles I can hit. So they're all, I set them up to all be different colors. Mm -hmm. And you can go in between them with the little function keys at the top and by hitting down on this little function tesoral key. So you can have it be the color of your League of Legends team. Yes, but the unfortunate thing that I noticed about this, and I currently have it on fade, so it'll fade back and forth between the colors. Oh, you can only do one color at a time. So you can't do separate colors for separate keys. So if you wanted to oh. do like WASD in red that and would be cool. yellow, that would be awesome, but they don't do that. The only thing that you can do that's similar is by turning them all the way up so that you have just the gaming ones oh, okay. lit and the rest of them are turned so off. So they do highlight the critical keys. Yeah, but right. I would rather it just be like a bunch of different colors Wouldn't so I can nice? have a full rainbow, yeah. which would be awesome. Red but... keys for directional, yes. blue keys for weapons, that kind of thing. So the second thing that I found was really cool with this is the fact that you can do macros. So you normally see on a mechanical gaming keyboard is a whole side macro over here right. where you have a bunch of different keys that you can like choose. Like function keys. Sorry. So instead of having those keys over here, they've put them down here and there's just three of them. Huh. The cool thing about these three keys is you can record a certain combination of key sets. Like if you're playing a RTS game and you have a really cool combination, you can record it for your actual speed in real-time gaming mode and play it back just by hitting that key. So I set mine up on my computer to just do a quick feature where it presses in a whole bunch of things that say the full sentence whenever I hit that key. That's nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And you can do that for all three of these, and it, you can just hit it with your thumb. It's much easier than having to push your finger out, which I really liked about this, especially when I was in my game mode. Now, this looks like a metal finish, but it's, it's plastic. Yes, it is plastic. They did do this nice metal finish, or it looks like brushed, brushed metal, metal along yeah. the sign. So it does look really nice and very pretty but it's definitely not really metal. And then I also wanted to point out that they have, instead of just having a metal or a plastic backing here, they did include rubberized texture on the feet so it doesn't bounce around as you're getting into the games really, really quick. And the last really cool thing that they included on here is extra ports. So if you plug in the microphone and the, uh, the he headphone ports on your computer through this braided keyboard, uh, this braided cord, you can also plug in your own headphone and mic through here. You will need to plug in an additional DC out right here to power those. And if you want to charge any multiple items as well, like your phone while you're playing your games, you can do that as well. I was wondering why that the keyboard cord was so kind thick. Now weird. I understand why. Yeah. It's got a lot of stuff nice going on Nice braided keyboard cord, which Now, I you really said like. mechanical keys. And I, I think, yes. uh, you know, sometimes in an office, for instance, you want something that's a soft touch, quiet key. So but these are pretty loud. When you're gaming, you want yeah. some, some You want oomph. some nice tactile feedback, yeah. and these do give you that tactile feedback. It definitely does. They are a little bit softer than the Logitech keyboard that I have at home. They feel a little bit softer. I don't, but that's I don't feel the buckling keys. Yeah. Uh, so these quick. are brown, but they do have a blue version. Uh, if you're familiar with Cherry MX yeah. keyboard switches. So this is a Cherry. Yeah. So that, well, this is it kind of like cherry it's actually called kale <laughs> keyboard switches it's pretty much the same thing Anybody just a different different company is makes them, a different cherry brand. is crazy yeah so blue would give you the most tactile would you rather have a cherry pop tart or a kale pop tart i would prefer cherry myself wouldn't you yes. i would think so cherry blue mx switches <laughs> myself yeah. which is what i have at home but okay. this is pretty close so i okay. like that okay good but not great good but not great so it's supposed to last up to 50 million actuations, which means 50 million keystrokes. Okay. So that's going to last you a nice long time, and you can do up to 300 different macros per profile. Wow. And since you have five profiles, lots of different macros wow. that you can use for your games. 140 bucks, pros mm -hmm. and cons. So my pros and cons of this. It has 
a great build quality. It looks good really too. like that. Yeah. Really cool features, mm -hmm. and I like the additional ports that it put in. Mm -hmm. On the con side, though, you can only do one color at a time, which irks me. I really want to get colorsome on there. And the software. Can I show you this software real quick? <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. Is it complicated? It is so bad. Here, oh, me... it's ugly. <laughs> Look at this. That's a model of the keyboard itself. It is so ugly. It looks like it a bad Winamp skin. It took me half an hour skin. to figure out how to actually change the yeah. colors. You have okay. to hit your profile and then double click right. on there. It's like, oh, that's annoying. And there's no software implementation. It's it's just ugly. Well, so I didn't like the software. I think they should update that for you know people that are in their 20s and 30s. <laughs> Definitely a con. <laughs> buy, so. try, don't buy on the Tesoro Lobera Supreme Gaming keyboard. Buy, try, or don't buy, I give it a try. So it's up there. I hate the software. I think they should update that and include more additional LED colors. I don't often play games, but when, but I, when do, I do, I play it on the Tesoro Lobera. <laughs> should be. That's who they should get to do this. Thank you, Shannon Morse. We you. can catch you on... Uh, Texilla. Yes. On Texilla a regular basis on Revision 3. T E K T E K Z Z I L L A. Is <laughs> Patrick treating you right? Patrick is a horrible co host. <laughs> no, oh, tell kidding. me about it, girlfriend. <laughs> I could tell you such stories. I love that no, guy. I love Patrick, too. That's, and I, I'm jealous you get to work with him all the time. Thank you, Shannon.